It's an important night for the UCLA Labor Center and its director, Kent Wong. The annual banquet not only raises needed funds for the center, but also honors this year's 87 graduates from the Labor and Workplace Studies program at UCLA, of which Kent is the director. In the room to celebrate with Kent are state and local legislators and representatives from nearly every union and advocacy group in the city. Most of the graduates will go on to work at these organizations, both in Los Angeles and across the country. So the UCLA Labor Center is deeply committed to advance research, education, and public service to working people and to working class communities. As a professor at UCLA, as the director of the Labor Center, and with all of the many hats that he wears, Kent Wong has spent his life advocating for undocumented immigrants, particularly immigrant youth, fighting for workers' rights, no matter their race, gender, or creed, and raising up and deploying the next generation of activists. In 2011, the UCLA Labor Center launched Dream Summer, the first national fellowship and scholarship program for undocumented immigrant youth. The program has raised over $3 million and every year places 300 interns in labor organizations around the country. For me, working, learning, uh, engaging with Ken uh, as, a, as a student as, and as a professional has been profoundly uh, amazing. I've been able to learn from him um, the way to organize workers, the way to organize in community and really build power and amplify the voices of the most vulnerable workers. Kent is a gifted teacher, and his courses in labor and ethnic studies are always in demand. He's team teaching this course in nonviolence and social movements with the civil rights icon, Dr. James Lawson. He's one of the most significant educators of the workplace in the United States, period. And at the same time, one of the people who understands clearly that you cannot have a democracy with equality, liberty, and justice for all without well-organized labor unions to help to empower and engage their people. Kent taught the first class in the country on undocumented students, and three of the 11 books he has written are on the topic. Kent Wong is also founding national president of the Asian Pacific American Labor Alliance and sits on the executive board today. Since 1992, Apala has been building bridges between the labor movement and the Asian American community. Kent is also the vice president of the California Federation of Teachers and the chairman of the board of the New World Foundation. As an educator, an activist, labor leader, and a visionary, Kent Wong is one of our nation's greatest champions of social justice. Ladies and gentlemen, Kent Wong. Thank you, National Education Association, for this award. I am a proud product of the California K-12 public education system and a graduate of the public university system. The first time I ever walked a picket line was in middle school with striking teachers of the United Teachers of Los Angeles. And even back then, I realized that they were striking not just for better wages and working conditions, but for quality education for all of our students. I was the founding president of the Asian Pacific American Labor Alliance, now celebrating 25 years. I have worked as a union attorney, a scholar, and an author, but I am most proud of my role as a teacher. <laughs> Educators are responsible for the most precious resource of our great nation, and that is our children. 
and I am especially proud of my undocumented immigrant students who have fought against immense barriers of racism and discrimination to succeed both as students and as activists. So sisters and brothers, whether our children are black, white, Latino, Asian, Native American, whether they are gay or straight, whether they are able-bodied or disabled, whether they are citizens or undocumented, all deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. And each and every one of our students deserve the right to quality public education. So tonight, we celebrate NEA. Thank you for fighting for quality public education. And now, more than ever, thank you, NEA, for leading the fight for civil and human rights for all.